Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? I hope you are all doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am personally doing good from my end and I want to welcome each and every one of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here kindly, remember to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time we have a new video, you will be able to get notified. For our returning subscribers, welcome back and thank you for your support. Thank you for always being here supporting what we do. And in today's video, I'm here to share some news and I believe in one way or another, you might have seen what I'm here to share with you, but let us just listen and at the end of it all, we see what we can talk about it. Because honestly speaking, this is something that I didn't even believe someone can just take it to this particular level. Anyway, it's all about this Archbishop of Canterbury who resigned and the mail is now making it about the successes. That is what we have. That is what we really have to discuss in this particular video. And we just talk our own opinions and what we think about this kind of bias reporting. So Justin became the Archbishop of Canterbury in the year 2013. And the job is to actually facto head the Anglican Church. And he was supposed to retire in the year 2026. So instead, he rather suddenly announced his resignation on Tuesday, citing his own culpability in the Anglican Church cover-up of abuses. So my people from the NY Times, this is actually the New York Times, I'm here to share the information being shared concerning the same issue. And let me just read through this article very quickly, then we can get to understand more of what this bishop has to say. The Archbishop of Canterbury, the most reverend Justin, resigned on Tuesday after a damning report concluding that he had failed to pursue a proper investigation into claims of widespread abuse of boys and young men decades ago at Christian summer camps. Pressure had mounted rapidly on Mr. Welby. So this is the same archbishop, also known as Welby, who serves as spiritual leader of 85 million Anglicans worldwide. Since the report was published last week, a senior figure in the church and the bishop of Newcastle called on him to step aside while Prime Minister Keir Starmer pointedly declined to back him. So his resignation brings to an abrupt end an eventful and occasionally stormy tenure during which he became Britain's best-known cleric, presiding over momentous public ceremonies like coronation of King Charles and becoming an impassioned voice on issues like migration. But this archbishop struggled to hold together a church cleaved between liberals and traditionalists. So though he has not been accused of any abuse himself, he was ultimately brought down by the same type of sex abuse scandals that has toppled leaders of Roman Catholic Church. It is very clear that I must take personal and institutional responsibility for the long and re-traumatizing period between 2013 and 2014, he said in a statement on Tuesday, confirming that he had sought permission from the king to resign. I hope this decision makes clear how seriously the Church of England understands the need for change and our profound commitment to creating a safer church. He added that, as I step down, I do so in sorrow with all victims and survivors of abuse. 
So the Times noticed that the abuses within the Catholic Church were much more widespread, and yet no pope has ever resigned because of any of it. And at least two popes were deeply involved in the cover-ups. So I saw a positive response for this resignation. Basically, at least someone with authority is taking some kind of responsibility. It's nowhere near enough. But this resignation definitely keeps these conversations in the news. Unfortunately, the Daily Mail decided to pander to their readers with this story, how Justin Welby fell under Harry and Meghan's spell as Archbishop of Canterbury resigns over ignoring the prolific sex abuser's crimes. How his friendship with Sussexes raised questions about his judgment so you see what they are doing that is the daily mail and my people it's okay for the entire story i have no issue but tell me why the daily mail have all this story lying on the side of harry and megan where are harry and megan coming in in this kind of story in this resignation where are harry and megan coming in to stand for this archbishop I would actually say the mail then did an exhaustive history on Welby's very public sympathy for Prince Harry and Meghan, which is clearly a bigger crime than covering up church abuses, according to Daily Mail. Oh God, it's even funnier and sadder because the mail has been panicking about Welby's friendliness with the Sussexes for years. And the male completely missed Welby's culpability in church abuses. They were so focused on the Sussexes. I don't think this is a very light story to even talk of. I believe we need to call out this kind of bias reporting, which is actually going on with the Daily Mail at the particular point at this particular point whereby we have this kind of story surrounding this archbishop so we are living in opposite world and are very so i am very confused and i feel so sad about what the daily mail are trying to spread about the success anyway this may be a reaction to harry's being on the list of influential climate people just mentioning that because we recently heard the most positive things about Harry and Meghan and specifically Harry. But now see the Daily Mail here with some kind of different news, which I believe it's some cover-ups and distractions. So how on earth can they blame this on the success for the abuse? He did nothing about it. It's really insane. And that is my whole point. I came here to address the issue, not even the issue of this archbishop, but the issue that arised in the Daily Mail after the story came out. The Daily Mail keeps talking about how Harry and Meghan have no influence and everyone hates them, but apparently they can put a man of great power and esteem under their spell. I don't know what you have to say about that kindly. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section and allow me end it here. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, goodbye.